Aloha friends, welcome back to a Simply Simple Life. I had just did an unboxing with you guys uh, a few videos ago of um, Louis Vuitton Palm Springs MM. I, uh, I love, 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 I absolutely love that bag. That was a gift to me from myself <laughs> with my hustles, with my side hustles along with my regular job. Um, this time I am doing um, an unboxing of uh, early Christmas gifts from hubby. So he said this is from the kids. Of course he uses his money, but, and then this is from him. So this is his Christmas gift to me. And let me go ahead and take it out. I did open it already um, because I've had it for about a week now. And I think that same night when we took it home, I, I took it out of the box and then I took out the, um, the blue, you know, and I couldn't put it back together. <laughs> um, how it's tied together, that blue ribbon. Okay, so, okay, here's the box. I love how it comes into these th thick, uh, sturdy box. If I choose to put them back into its original box, often though, I do not. I bought a, um, behind me is a Billy cabinet. I do have one upstairs into my work office as well with um, glass so that I have shelves and then I display my bags in there um, because I don't want to put it back into the, the box itself and uh, and flatten it or um, have it unshaped <laughs> to where I've already trained the shape um, kind of thing. So um, that's the nice way to be able to uh, protect your bag to make it last longer is that do not put it back into the box unless you got a box that was specifically too big for that particular uh, bag that you're putting inside, okay? All right, so it comes with this dust bag. There you go, okay? And then I, along with that, um, the Palm Springs um, MM, it hasn't been long since I've been wanting these two bags. The reason that I wanted them is because our last trip to downtown Disney, I was having such a difficult time with the bag that I chose to bring. I believe I had um, I had brought the GM uh, Neverfull. It was just hurting my shoulder uh, to the point when we did so much walking because it was a day trip for, um, for us, for hubby and I, from Seattle to downtown Disney. And we just walked around downtown Disney, had lunch there. Um, did a little bit of like shopping and just you know get that feeling of that festive holiday feeling because we are uh, Disney fanatics well I am along with the kids um, when we used to live over in California prior to moving back here in Seattle um, all the years that we were there like eight years we had the Disneyland um, yearly pass for the family so we we love Disney all right so this one is going to be the Louis Vuitton bum bag. Uh, we were standing in the, is it at Disney, at downtown Disney, the dress shop? I think home, was it dress shop? It was the dress shop. No, I'm sorry, it was home. It was home and there was this oh, cute older lady. She was an older Asian lady and she had this and i'm like oh my gosh that is so convenient because she had this one and then she had a drink and then she was talking to her husband and then just behind her like you know six feet apart behind her i felt like she was at ease like she had no worries because she wasn't log you know hanging on to like such a heavy purse the way i was so with that being said i thought that this is a perfect bag to be able to bring onto our trips, whether it's just hubby and I or whether I have the um, the little one and she's in kindergarten. Um, because I feel like it's a, it's, a, it's a big enough bag to be able to put our basic necessities in there, which is just your phone and, you know, um, chargers and such. Um, I don't wanna have to bring uh, such a big bag like I did last time of the Neverfull. I enjoy the, the Neverfull GM um, into the plane because then I can put you know store everything in there easily take it under the seat in front of me Push it back take it out to be able to take out iPads or phones or chargers and such but Walking around it was just such a, a nuisance for me because I was just packing 
stuff in there because it was so big this way i'll be limited to what can fit in there and it's a big enough size to i to where i feel like i can still carry the basic necessities you know makeup a little bit of makeup um phone kind of thing and switch you know i, I have the the switch light i feel that that can um can fit in here i haven't tried it yet but i feel like it can fit okay all right so first of all let me go ahead and and Sam, um, tell you guys what Louis Vuitton says of the, the bum bag as far as like the dimension. So it's 14 by 6 by 5 by 5 by 5.1 inches. Okay. It's monogram coated canvas and natural cowhide leather. Um, one zip pocket. Strap not removable. So that's the thing about the strap. If you're concerned about it, it does not... It's not removable. You can't take this out and put a different strap in there. And then plus it has the, um, the vachetta. And I feel like because the, the strap is like this and it's vachetta, how vachetta over time uh, turns into a darker color, um, it's going to be a different, like you're going to have a mark here of a different color because of the, um, the strap so what I, I want to make sure that I'm aware is that I'm gonna go ahead and change you know change the size of it the length of it um, um, each time I use it so that I don't have one constant color and then right here because I didn't you know change it around that there's going to be a lighter color in there of all the purses though that I've owned with Louis Vuitton that has the Vachetta leather I have used the Apple Guard and I am so completely happy with Apple Guard especially where I live which is Pacific Northwest in Seattle it, it constantly rains it constantly rains what I also do is I put a reusable bag <laughs> inside of my purse that just folds up and it's like it's so tiny it's like the size of you know something like that that you can easily put in there so that there are often times that I'll go somewhere it is cloudy but no rain you know and then all of a sudden when i come out of the store or the restaurant it is um drizzling and so i always want to protect my bag either that or i you know i tend to just put it under like a jacket <laughs> i protect my bag more than i protect myself in the rain okay all right so with the bum bag it does have this um handle if you choose to just hold it by like this okay all right, you can just kind of carry it like that if you choose to, okay? And I, I, don't, I would not use this as like a fanny pack. I, I can't, I, I can't. I never carried like a fanny pack and I wouldn't know how to carry it as a fanny pack. So my um, sale advisor had already adjusted it for me and you can easily just carry it like this as a purse, okay? And then I'll lower the, the camera down later. Um, or you can put it over your shoulder. Put it like this. Okay. Let me go ahead and lower the camera. Okay. So you guys can see. Okay. Just right here. It's just right. Um, I'm five, four and a half. <laughs> I'm just shy of five, five. But um, it's almost too um like to the very uh bottom part where it's the most loose and it um, goes like right to my the bottom part goes um to my waist okay but i like how she carried it of um the lady that i saw she had it like this okay i like that okay. that's how she had it Okay, and I think that's how I would carry it, especially uh, like walking around, okay, or more to the side, like that, okay. This one too, then I would feel like, especially if we're around people, which of course, after the COVID <laughs> pandemic, but if I'm around people, then I'm, I'm worried uh, worrisome of like someone grabbing stuff in there um, I don't think I would be too worried because there is a flap here they would have to literally fold the flap open and then be able to open it okay 
as you guys can see it's still protected so I'm gonna go ahead and take one take a dose out there's the handle if you wanted to hold it by the handle if you do have it over your shoulder like that you can easily just use this handle to pick it up and then move it away from your face especially if you're like wearing makeup okay and also just a quick note so when I picked this up um, actually we went I picked this up I picked this up the next day because um, it wasn't quite ready and the my client advisor was not there but there was another client advisor I did not know this but because of COVID-19 we're constantly putting those alcohol sanitizers into our hand she said because of the canvas to be very careful with that she didn't say anything about the vachetta but she did t um, mention the canvas because she has had clients or customers that come in here and it turned white uh, because of the alcohol so if you're constantly using the hand sanitizer it does have alcohol so be careful with uh with your bag okay i wanted to note that in there before i did forget okay so it has see one two three four five six seven notches and then you're able to adjust it here as well to make it tighter or looser okay it has a zipper on the back like this is the front and then the zipper is on the back okay and that's where you're able to store your um, like your phone if you have your phone so I have my phone here okay and this is a iPhone 11 and it fits perfectly right there okay and then because it's protected like on my end I don't feel like I need to constantly put it like zip it so I can leave it open and then constantly take my phone in and out okay and then I do like that handle in here because like as you guys can see I pushed it away from my body to be able to go in here and take out my phone okay and then inside that bag was just um, the it's the bum bag mm uh, monogram okay and then another one and this one retails for $1,690 currently. And like I said in the other video, I have been loving uh, Louis Vuitton lately. It's something that I feel like I can pass on to my three girls later on if it's something that they would want. I also have a son. If his wife happens to, you know, treat him, treat him well and she's wanting one of my bags, I would not have any issues of sharing with her as well. Okay. And then, so I'm gonna zip that up. I'm also gonna protect this with the, um, the apple guard, okay? And then I'm gonna open up the flap. I think that it's a bit annoying to have to open up the flap to be able to take it out. But because I would wanna carry it um, behind me, um, that in order for someone to like take something out of my bag they would have to open up that flap so even though it's I feel like it's a nuisance for me to physically do it each time then it becomes a security uh, pro um, to be able to have that feeling that you know what no one can easily take something out of there without you actually feeling like someone's trying to grab in onto your bag okay so then it has the two zipper um, thing in here that you can this one you can choose where to put it and then that okay and then right now it's filled with paper okay but it's pretty I like how it opens it actually opens pretty wide and I feel like you can put a lot of stuff in here okay and then there's no um, inner pockets it's just that one um, one open space and then the black uh, lining okay and then without anything in there I want to see if it keeps its shape okay. yeah and I feel like it does it's very light there we go okay then I would put it like that. I would wear it like that. Okay. I do like that. I feel like my I 
my hands are free hands free i can be holding a drink holding on to hubby's hands the kids hands and then it's not in the way and you can put it more like that i do like how it's just angled though okay and then definitely like that Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and open up the other, the other one. I think I pretty much showed you guys the look of the bag. Okay. Then it has a little clasp over here at the bottom. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and, um, because the other one is for this bag and then also for the, the Palm Springs, let me go ahead and just put the stuffing back just so that it creates some, um, some firmness to it, some shape. All right, friends, so let me go ahead and unbox the, this bag, which hubby says is from the kids for Christmas. And it's just a small bag. And then a small box okay so this one i kind of forgot what which style i had chosen and so like i said um we had picked this up the next day because um i think we had because the one that i wanted was from another store and so they were um they brought it into the to our store so we wouldn't have to go all the way down to seattle okay and then the box and then here's a little i like these little cute dust bags okay and then for this one i forgot what the name of this one was it was just something that she had at the they had at the store and then she said because i think there was a, a scratch to it and she said oh another store had it so you could either get this one or we can have another one um delivered here and i want to say i believe let me take a look. All right, I want to say that this is the Blooming Flowers uh, chain bag charm and key holder, okay? But they had a different version. They had like a white background and then a pink background. So I chose the white with the monogram and then the black and then a little bit of the pink. Okay. And then that. Okay, and then my intention was to be able to, then you could also use this for like, um, to put it onto your bag itself and then you're able to take it out uh, with this and then be able to easily take out like your, your keys and such. Okay, I'm not quite sure if I really, really like this. Um, I had just opened it, I might, um, contact my client advisor and let him know that it's too much bling bling for me I just want something that's subtle okay well all right friends as always thank you guys for visiting a simply simple life mahalo